Hello, crafty friends. This is the Paper Chef here. Welcome to part two of my Easter Bunny workshop series. In this series, we'll be using the Easter Bunny stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set. And we'll be using this Easter Bunny punch. Just so you know, this is on low inventory. The last time that happened, and I'm going to mention it again toward the end of the video, the last time there was something on low inventory like the Shamrock Punch, it, it became unavailable after that. I'm not sure if Stampin' Up's keeping this product around or if it runs out, it runs out and it's gone forever. Not sure, but when it says low inventory, act quickly. It's best to get the stamp set and the bundle together for $34 because you save 10% when you purchase these as a bundle. But if you just only want to spend the money for the punch right now, you're still going to pay shipping anyway, the minimum shipping. So, But if that's all you can afford, then just get the punch because this stamp set won't run out because these are made in the U.S., the stamp sets. Well, some some stamp sets are. This kind is. But the punch will, will run out or go on low inventory. Okay, so here's where to order it. And let's get started. We're going to make paper purses today. I'll show you what inspired me, which project from my friend Kathy. We'll make these little paper purses. They are similar to the ones I taught you how to make before Christmas when I made them with the owls. So let me grab the bigger ones. Show you those. Okay, so these pa these little paper purses, I, I call them double mini double, double pouch mini totes. See, because there's double pouches, there's two pouches. These ones here took a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And the ones we're going to make today take a 6 by 6 piece of paper. Same exact thing, just different measurements. Okay, so hoot, hoot, you're so cute. This is a celebration item. If you don't already have your owls, you get those for free during celebration. All right, so let's uh, let's take a six by six piece of paper and and let's get to it. You can put a little bunny in there. You can put my sticky notes from last time, the little mini sticky note holder. You can put candy in there, and I'll show you a, one other style, a couple other styles. Well, let me start by showing you the styles that inspire me. So this is one from my friend Kathy. She made this one, so that's what inspired me. And she gave me a blank. She made this one with the seaside or the by the bay designer series paper. And then this is, she gave me this template. And so I figured out the measurements and that's what I'm going to share with you. So I'll do it once, then I'll do the measurements, then I'll do it again. So that means that you watch and then you're going to go get paper. After you watch, you're going to go get paper because that's the way you learn. All right. So we're going to use Simply Scored, the Simply Scored tool. And we're going to take a piece of Dandy Designs Designer Series paper. Now, in your Easter Bunny kit, that's the wrong paper pack. Um, in your Easter Bunny kit, you have lots of different paper options. So I did one with this paper, Flowers and More. I'm mostly going to try to work with Dandy Designs in this series because this one is free during celebration. And I want you to be able to take advantage of getting this paper for free when you spend $100. But you could do it with this paper here. There's little cute patterns on the Design of Daydream. You can do it with this one. There's beautiful flowers. And patterns and uh, this one here that's on clearance i mean you can use any of the papers but any six by six paper so let's just grab a piece and let's get to it just grabbing ones out of my old packs so this is a cute one the cute patterns you know small patterns are cute this one i don't really like the other side of it so that one is good for stamping this one i already used it's good for stamping the um the bunnies on too so the bunnies I stamped them right onto designer series paper as well. This would make a cute one. Let's make a few of them today. That would make a really cute one. Mm, so with this here, when I, I think I already did one. Yeah, this one would be cute. Oh gosh, they'd all be cute. We'll just see how many we make. And I already made one out of this paper. So you see how great Dandy Designs is for making these. All right, so let's put that there and here. And we're going to, uh, let's see, we're going to do, I'm thinking... This polka dotted one. And, no, and then the, fla the flower one. Here, yeah, the flower one. And then I'll do the polka dot one. All right, we'll do the flowers. So, you don't bring me flowers anymore. All right, we're going to start with the half an inch. So, because you want a half an inch on each side for this little flap. Okay, so we just do half an inch. And I'm using the smaller side of my, of my scoring tool. And then since the paper I'm using is six and in, six inches, right? We're gonna do a half an inch on that side. Okay, later on I'll write this all measurements measurements for you. Then we're gonna score at three inches because that's gonna be the bottom, the gusset right here. Down the bottom. And then we need because the gusset is three 
eighths of an inch. We're going to go one, two, three. So three and three eighths to the right. And then we're going to go backwards. One, two, three. Backwards. Okay, that because we're going three eighths of an inch to the left. Two and five eighths. All right, don't worry that it's fast because I'm going to do it again slow, slowly next time. And I'm also going to, I'm going to turn it 90 degrees clockwise. And we're going to score it one and five eighths. And you could just do one and five eighths on both sides like that. Or you could just do one and on this side, three eighths. Uh, four and three eighths, not uh, four and three eighths. But when you do the four and three eighths on this side, it's still doing the one and five eighths. See, so when you turn it around, it's still you're still doing one and five eighths. You're doing you're doing the score on the same on both sides. All right. So watch me do this magic here, and then after that, you can we're gonna try. You can try it yourselves. So because this is gonna be the little flaps, I want to turn them like this. The mango melody shows for. I don't want that to be like the actual purse. I want the little flowers to be the actual purse. So I'm going to flip it around and make the mango melody stand out as the little flap around the edges. And now what you want to do, it, okay, it says my picture's fuzzy. Is that for everybody my picture's fuzzy or just let me know, guys, if my picture's fuzzy. It may, might mean I have bad bandwidth and that it might play better a little next time around. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to fold. What you're going to do is you're going to hide the pattern. So, like, this is the outside of your purse. You're going to fold it in half. Okay, Terry's saying, yes, it's fuzzy as well. Huh. It's fine. Okay, so somebody's saying it's fine. Kathy's saying it's fine. Okay, Pat from Oklahoma, you just came on. Is it fuzzy or not fuzzy? I'm, I'm here. Let's make my bunny go and focus. I'm touching the, to focus the bunny. I can see it fine, but that doesn't mean that. Okay, good. If some of you are saying it's fine, Linda's saying it's fine then it's fine. Okay. Then it means that if it's fuzzy, it means that it hasn't loaded yet for you. So what you're going to do is hide the pattern and fold it in half like that. And then you're going to fold it back out so that you're going to make like a little accordion fold down here like that. And then flip it around. And like I said, I'm going to do it a couple times, probably do it three times because I picked out so much cute paper. So that's, that's the gist of the bottom part of it. Kind of like that. Now, before I do this other thing, I like to do my whole punching now before I fold along the other edges. So what I'm gonna do is kind of fold these up, like back up like this. And I'm just gonna use like half of my thumb there. Like kind of, my thumb is gonna be, the, the middle of my thumb's the center here. And I'm just gonna punch holes down in there. Kind of, it, now you, it'd be better if you have like, what's called a big bite, right? It's, it's a big bite, it's a little, um, a big bite is is a tiny hole puncher with like really tiny holes. It's a crafting tool. We don't sell it at Stampin' Up, but it's a really cool little hole puncher. If you have something like that, it'd be better. I just happen, I'm, I'm kind of in limbo right now, and this is all I have. Oh, my goodness. I made them different sizes, but it's all good because they're going to, that's just for the little holes to stick out of the purse. All right, now you're going to take your, now we're going to take it and open it back up, and we're going to, we're going to just fold the others. We're going to fold this part now. We're just kind of folding in the sides. Okay. Like so. Now I'm going to go now I'm going to open it back up and go back to the way we were. The way we were. All right, which is just that part up like that. The way it was, okay? Going back to the way it was. So in other words, I'm just it's called burnishing the edges. Now I have different kinds of ribbon. And you have different ribbons in your kit. In your kits, some of you have balmy blue, and some of you have um, pool party. But you all have this. Well, some of you have. I think all of you have fresh freesia. Pool party's good. It takes on the colors. This gingham is good. The little gingham, black and white. Let's see if that might work cute. I think that would look cute for spring. You all have this in your kit. So let's use. Let's use this one. Gingham, black and white gingham. You have a yard of it. So lots of paper purses because since you have a yard which is thirty six inches. And my mom measured all those for me. She helped me make my kits. I probably would have given up and quit doing kits, honestly, if it weren't for my mom. She helped me so much. Doing kits is such a labor of love. All right, so she helps me a lot. So I'm going to make five-inch little pieces of ribbon here with the gingham. So then what you're going to do is you're going to, I just go ahead and, I'm just going to go ahead and put the adhesive all along this flap like that. 
you, you know, can you see that? It has little ridges. And I'm just going to tuck the ribbon in from outside in. I'm going to tuck the ribbon, like outside meaning that's the flap that's showing. And I'm going to stick it in there. So just stick it in there. It's going to be hidden. And just put the little flap of your purse in there. Okay. And hide it in there. Okay. So just like so, you're hiding, you're hiding the ribbon. And then you're going like that. And voila, you have a handle on your purse. And nobody can see any of the holes. But, well, they can see the holes sticking out the top because I put them, I made giant holes. But, I mean, you can't see the ribbon, the ends of the ribbon. Okay, do that again. Seal plus. Put adhesive all there. And then stick it through the hole. I tried using my take your pick tool, guys. And that made my ribbon rip. Or not my ribbon rip, my paper, my paper rip. Let it rip. It let my, my paper ripped. So I ended up using a hole puncher because when I used the take your pick tool to make a hole, my own hole, homemade holes, I think that one's shorter. You just kind of, they were, they both started out five inches, but you know what, this one, it's in there too much, about that much, kind of hide it in there. Okay, and then tuck it, tuck it like that. And now we have, just check that they're the same size, and if not, you can fix them real quick before this, this kind of seals like really quickly the seal plus, and so you can fix them real quick if, if it's not the right size. All right, now let's open up our little purse, fold it down, put some adhesive on it, on the edge, and then just for good measure, right, instead of just folding this over, I like to put adhesive on this edge as well. You could use glue. You don't have to use seal plus, but I like to use seal plus. It's not nice and neat. Okay, let's get that on there. All right. Now, you're going to take this little, this is the outside, right? And you're going to do that gusset again. So that's the outside, like so. So you're going to do that to the outside, right? And now, I don't know why mine got a little wonky right there, but you can put a little bit of adhesive right there. Do, do, do. And you're going to seal these two little flaps together. You're not going to see that anyway. Bada boom, and it's done. And so we have a cute little paper purse. And now we have to put our little bunny on it, which we'll do later because we're doing measurements now. We're going to do bunnies later. But you have a, two, a cute little purse with two little pockets, which is simply adorable. Now, here are the kinds of things you can fit in it before we get too far. So you're going to... Now, I, I left this part. You could have sealed a little bit down further, but you could stick something in there too if you wanted to. So different things will fit in it. Like here's your Valentine's York Peppermint Patty. That will fit in there. And I have these mini Ghirardellis. That will fit in there. Okay, and you can even fit a tea bag in there. Just you want some things that are not that wide. Here's a little lifesaver in there. And of course, I think it's cute just to put a bunny in there. Just to put a little bunny with a message. See, hello, Mr. Bunny. And then little, these are some Valentine treats I have. Soon I'll be getting the Easter ones, but I'm right now in Valentine's mood. I made... 80 goodie bags for two different schools for the kiddos. Okay, so you can put that little thing in there. I'll show you more things to put in there later, and we'll put bunnies on it. All right, it's time to write the measurements. Here, let's, let's keep these there so you can see them, and then we'll write the measurements just on a sticky note. And then we're going to do some stamping of the bunnies. So please, please, please get paper. That is the best way to learn. Let me say hi to you guys. Wow, this is a popular one. When you guys saw bunny purses... There's Backyard Stamper. That's Kathy Schmidt. Thank you, Kathy. She's here. She was the first one here, and it's the craft that she showed me. So thank you, Kathy, for showing me this craft that I can then show other crafty friends of ours. Okay. Hello, Nancy. Nancy Ross. And Linda from Stamp, Cut, and Create. And Terry P. Gloria Wolf. Deborah from New South Wales, Australia. Okay, I'm glad you like these. Terry's liking these, and everybody likes the cute ones. Hello, Darlene and Lisa Fisher and Mary Rock. Okay, I hope it's not too fuzzy anymore. I hope Pat from Oklahoma can see this fine. Oh, good. She's saying it's good now. Yay, everybody's good now, Denise. All right, so six-inch piece of DSP. I'll keep saying hi in a minute. I don't want to say hi to everybody at once, and then you're like, let me know the measurements. All right, so score. It's already six. You already cut it, right? So... Score at 
One half. I mean, you already cut it, meaning your paper was already six inches, right? We're not cutting the paper. It's just start with a six-inch paper. Okay, let me, let me do it kind of the way I memorized it. Okay, so you, need, you need to score at one and a half and five and a half. Okay, I have to do it. I have to look at I'm a visual person. Three, but there's something between the three. So three inches, comma. Okay, we need so backwards from three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Two and five eighths, right? Two and five eighths. I hope you kind of understand how my mind works here. I have to do it this way. One, two, three. Three and three eighths. Okay, that's the scoring. That's what you're scoring at, right? And then you're going to turn it around, right? And 90 degrees. So turn 90 degrees. And then you're going to score at. Thank you, Mary Rock is saying, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this cute little paper purses. One and five eighths. And you could just do one and five eighths on either, on both sides you, by turning the paper around. And we could do four and three eighths on the right. All right. So let's do this. Let's get some paper. I have so many cute ones. Maybe I'll do one slow and then one fast or something. Oh, this one's cute too. They're all cute. I don't want to do two together because I don't want to, I don't want to like make, yeah, this is, this is super cute. I don't want to like make the paper indented too much if I do two together. So we'll leave that there so you can see that. And we'll put that in there. All right, ready for some more. We're going to do, I'm just doing what it says there, right? Scoring. I'm doing it slow so you can see it. One half inch. And this time I'm going in the order, right? Two and a half is four eighths. So here, two and five eighths, right? And then three. One, two, three, three and three eighths, and then five and a half. Okay, turn 90 degrees, one and five eighths, and four and one, two, three eighths. All right, turn back, turn it back this way, and first let the cute little edge show that you want to show. So. Main, the main pattern was my polka dot, so that's the little flap I want to show and the flap I want to show. Oops, there's where I went wrong last time. I kind of get wonky here, that one. Okay, let's come on, come on. All right, and then, and then you're going to hide the pattern. Hiding the pattern, meaning the main pattern. And then you're going to do the little accordion fold. Flip it around, do the accordion fold again. Each time using the ledger, you're simply scored. All right, and then we're gonna turn, and then we're gonna do the little pokey thing, not pokey, either pokey tool. It, see, I tried, the, like I did try it. This is all you have. Just do the little pokey tool, right? But I'm, it, I ripped my paper by accident doing that. So then I went like this. And I just put I just put my thumb there, and I just punched some hole. Right above the line is where I punched the hole, because when I punched the hole too high up, I ripped it again. So there's that. But you know what I did when I ripped my paper? I punched bunnies out of my paper that I ripped. That's all I did to it. Okay, let's use some of this little guy. Let's use some of uh, this fresh freesia is about ten inches, so we'll just cut this in half. Before I put the fresh freesia in, I need to, which you have in your bunny kits. Oh, by the way, the bunny kits went out today, and except for the ones that signed up on the day, like the day before the deadline or the day of the deadline. I didn't get those up, but everybody that signed up at the time I made my little video of what was in your kit. And those of you, well, basically, if you got a, if you got a shipping notice, your kit went out today. Let's put it that way. If you didn't get a shipping notice, well, I shouldn't say that. If you paid with PayPal, you got a shipping notice. If you paid with my other new system where I'm finally accepting credit cards, which was, oh, that was a bear trying to accept credit cards. They, they, um, 
I don't have a way to like send the shipping notices the same way. Like PayPal makes everything easy for me, but I haven't figured out how to send the shipping notices with that other system yet. But if you didn't get a shipping notice and you didn't sign up the day of the deadline, you got everybody got it shipped today. And I'll be I'll be sending you all notices if you didn't get one already from PayPal. All right, so that's what we're doing. We're folding it like that. Now we're going to fold it back. We're going to do the ribbon stuff now. We're doing the ribbon stuff. And then after we do the ribbon stuff, then we do, we go back and seal the bag. Okay, I just go ahead and put adhesive all along the flap. See, the little seal plus has little ridges. Love the seal plus. All right. You got a notice from Paper Pumpkin, you're saying. Huh, what kind of notice did you get from Paper Pumpkin, Linda? You mean, oh, PayPal, PayPal. Um, I saw PP, and I, th I, I think pay the thing I was just talking about, duh. This is my mom and I. We always have conversations like this. She's like, I ask her a question. She answers completely something else. And then I was like, where did you get on that subject? And she's like, I thought you said this. She can't hear. I can't hear. Uh, anyway, we uh, that's funny. So good. I'm glad you got a notice. Okay, so Linda, that means yours was shipped because you, you, you ordered early. You were like an early bird because you're on my team. So my, my team... They did the early bird ordering. Yeah, so one of the many perks of being on my team is you get discounts. You get early bird notices for all my kits, and then you get discounts too on all my kits and things that I do. So you notice how I'm just going like outside in with this ribbon, sticking it down. And before I, before I kind of seal the final one, I just kind of test it. Is it around the same size? Because it is a little purse, right? So we kind of want the ribbon, okay, to be the same size. So we go like this, doop, 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 right? So it's okay if one's a little bit longer than the other, but kind of like this one can be, okay, that's good. See, we're testing it. Now, after we test it, we push it down there, right? And with the glittered org, these ribbons, like I've tried to do different things where like I gave them a little twist and all this business to try to get them to fall a certain way. And it didn't really work with this kind of ribbon, but with the glittered organdy ribbon, when I was making these bags, this one has some wire in it. So this is perfect ribbon for this. I didn't put this in this month's kit, but it's going in next month's kit called Playing in the Rain or Rain or Shine. I forget what the name of next month's kit is. It's either Playing in the Rain or Rain and Shine, whatever the name of that bundle is with the cute little animals playing in the rain. Anyway, you get some of this ribbon there and it has like a wire in it so you can twist the ribbon and make it make it like stand up better. The purse will stand up better. So maybe we'll make some little rain purses as well with that bundle because that paper is fantastic and you're all going to get a sample of that paper that has special coating on it. UV. UV coating. Okay, so I did that one really slow, and then we'll do one really fast. I'm not going to do the ribbon on the next one. I just want to do one really fast, meaning the, the scoring part, because I like if anyone just got here, it's better. Even if you have the measurements, it's better that you saw someone make it, even though you're going to use the measurements later. So there's a little, oops, that could have curled up a little. I probably should have seen how the, paper, the ribbon was falling. But there we go. Oh! How cute. We're going to still make the bunnies, so don't go anywhere. We're making bunnies. We have other projects to show you from. Okay. Yeah, so Gloria, I don't, it's like I started accepting credit cards, and people don't, didn't think they could use a credit card with PayPal, but they can. But every, a lot of time, what happened is I was getting all these emails, Gloria, and it was like, people were saying, oh, I don't have PayPal. I can't join your bunny workshop. And finally, I broke down and signed up for a credit card service called WePay or something like that because PayPal does let you use a credit card, but people don't realize that. They, I guess they have to sign in or even it lets you sign in as guest, and they're like, I don't have a PayPal account. And I'm like, you don't need one. I don't think you need one. But anyway, regardless, I signed up for another method. So now I don't – like like five people paid with this other method right after I did that. So anyway, I don't have a way to notify them now that they got shipping. I mean, I do, I can do it manually with email, but then that doesn't scale well. I, I mean, that takes a longer time. I wanted you to do it with PayPal. It's way easier. Hello, Lala's Crafts and Janet, Carlo, nice to see you again. 
Yeah, Deborah. Oh, yeah, marshmallow bunnies would be cute in there, Kathy. Jules, Julie's flat. Nice to see you. Yeah, my mom is so talented. She made everybody an Easter bunny bag. Easter bunny and chicks and everything. She made an Easter bunny tote bag. You should have seen, after I showed that tote bag, I had more people order than I had ordered before I showed the tote bag. I was trying to make it a surprise, but then my mom's like, you can show them. Maybe they'll want to order it. And she was right. My mom's kind of always right with stuff like that. All right, so. All right, so we'll just do A, B, or C. Which one? First one to vote gets to pick the paper. I'm just going to do, do one quickly. A, B, or C. A, B, C. This is, by the way, the um, Dandy Designs paper. And I know there's a little. Okay. Vote. First vote was from Linda at Stamp, Cut, and Create, and she voted number C. So watch how fast I do this one. Boom. And you see how I'm doing it a little bit differently? I'm going outside in. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One and five eighths. And one and five eighths. Okay. See how I did that? That's how I would actually do it. And that's the actual speed I would do it in. So I taught you slower twice. If you're not sure, watch my slower versions. And you make these while you're watching TV. These make great stocking stuffers. We're going to put them in our Easter baskets this year. I'm going to teach my nieces and nephews how to make those. these. They, they probably I'll probably teach them how to, around Easter time, make the bigger ones because... The bigger ones are, you know, a little bit easier for kids at that age to kind of understand how to make. But you can teach you can teach kids how to use these score scoreboards and things. I mean, you do, and you don't even have to put the little ribbons in them. You can just do. Okay, that's the in, that's the outside or that's the inside. I'm not doing the punching in this part. I'm just showing you. Boom. Okay, I'm showing you how to make it. And there you go. And we have the little. Open sesame, the two little side pouches. All right, let's make the bunnies. Bunnies. Bunny. All right, we need a little um, silicone mat. Now, I've already done some of the stamping the highs, but I will show you how I did the little inking up and everything. How about that? I made these because I made a couple of different color schemes. But we'll, we're not going to do the die cutting, but you are having your kit, these little guys. They're, they're from the... Stylish shapes dies. When I say kit, I'm talking about the bunny kit, but you don't need the bunny kit because it's all on YouTube here. Everything I'm doing is on YouTube. But the bunny kit gives you loads and loads of supplies. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our bunny. Okay, I'm going to stamp in the Knight of Navy ink. I'm just going to stamp on here. Okay, Knight of Navy ink. Now we're going to take, let's use, we'll use this one. Okay, now you're going to take a piece of Dandy Designs paper, put that down there. And you want to stamp toward the bottom of it because you're going to try to get your punch in there to punch it out, right? So after you stamp on your sticky note, go ahead and stamp onto your designer series paper. Okay, let's do a couple more on different pieces of designer paper. Let me grab some scraps. And the scraps have to be big enough to have a bunny on them. So that's not big enough, right? So we need, we need it to be like tall enough to put a bunny on. So here's, here's a couple good scraps. Like here, here's a really good one. You want some sort of light, you know, you want a lighter pattern, not too busy. Something like that would be cute. All right, good. And this one might have two, the polka dots are too big and that's a little busy. So, oh, you can also use a, you know, Fresh Freesia cardstock or something. But I, I just want to make bunnies with different patterns. Yeah, here we go. We'll make a bunny. We're going to make a bunny with this pattern. This is a cute bunny pattern. All right, I like to use my Knight of Navy instead of Memento Black because it's, it's juicier. My ink pad is just juicier. And then you're going to take your bunny punch and you're going to put the bunny punch up in there and punch out the bunny. All right, so scan and cut users. Now do you see why we like the bunny punch? If you tried to cut out these kinds of patterns, on designer series paper, your bunnies, it would be hard because it wouldn't be able to detect the edges very well because the pattern's in the paper. Plus, punches are faster, and punches are a great way to use up all your scraps. That's what I'll be doing with my dandy designs at the end. 
of the season, I'll just take all my little scraps, cut out bunnies, cut out half bunnies, you know, stuff like that. Then we have it all, all done. All right, so these are going to be for our person that we're going to put the we're going to put high on there. Now I already have the little circles die cut for you, but I want to show you how to stamp them and how to do the little bit of inking. So one for these ones, I just inked in crushed curry, but that's not one of the colors from this suite. From this, what I I'm going to show you what I used flowers and is it called flowers and more? Oh, I already forgot the name of it here. This thing, this one, flowers and more. There's crushed curry in there, so that's why I have the crushed curry. That's where I inked crushed curry on there. So always ink with a color that's in the paper that you're using. Crushed curry is not in this paper here, right? Crushed curry, it's not, but petal pink is. So I inked with petal pink. Oh, that rhymes. I inked with petal pink. And it doesn't look like much because it's kind of faded, my, my petal pink. I'm just putting this over there. I think you guys all wrote down the measurements by now. Let's put that over there. All right, the petal pink's going right there. So you just put a, I just put a little bit on my stamping block. And I'm going to use the stamping blending brushes. These are little, these are the mini ones. So I use crushed carry. I already had the crushed carry inked up, so I was using that for this piece, right? But I'm going to use a small blending brush. Aren't they cute? So a small blending brush. It doesn't matter if I would use a big one. Now we need to ink the little circles. Let me find my bucket of crafty goodness. Did I put it on the floor? Hmm. Here it is. It's... It got buried in no time. Okay, so you're gonna just you're gonna get these little circles. I, I have lots of extras. We'll just do a couple. We'll just do a couple here. So we, we need to take the high, right? The little high because that's the smallest thing. I just thought that fit on the purse really well. You each got a couple circles in your kit from the oops. Look at that. <laughs> that's a the little stamp is falling off. Oops. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp it while I have it before it falls off. Come on, don't fall off. Okay, good, good, good. Usually I would stamp afterwards, but my stamp is really inky right now because I just washed it and it's like slipping, slipping off. Anyway, so that's the only thing I could find that would fit <laughs> from this little set. Okay, now we're back to this. So I put some ink on here and I'm now I'm just going to ink the top of this trying not to smear my my high which I just did a little bit like I said I would have probably done that afterwards this one will be okay I mean I'm sorry before I would usually just ink the circle like this here let's do it the way I would do it so you go like this and you ink your circle right and then you stamp on it because that way it doesn't Smear. See? And you can do like this two-tone effect. With a coordinating color. I hope that says hi, because I can't even see, because my stamp is so much ink on there. Okay, I did it the right way. Well, it doesn't matter, because I would have just had the ombre effect with the darker color on the bottom. And now we're just taking some dimensionals and some of these... Dots that are in your kit. I gave you each a row of these classic matte dots. And they go cute with the little bunnies. All right. So let's put this bunny needs this one. Because we don't want to put, don't put the bunny, don't put the same kind of bunny on the purse. Right? Like put this bunny on that purse for contrast. So you have different bunnies that look cute with the different purses. Right? Different colors. So that bunny looks good. And then we're going to put a little Stampin' Dimensional on this guy. Oops. Okay. So the purse is done. We'll show you what's inside some of the other purses or what else we can fit in there. And this one might be cute on there. Hmm. Huh. And that one might be cute on there. But that's cuter. That one is cuter. The open ink pad's making you nervous. Yeah, but it's so dry. It shouldn't make you nervous. It's so dry. There's nothing that that is. I mean, I can't even get the ink off of it if I tried. It. I need to get a reinker, and I've just ordered twice since I've said I need to get a reinker, and I didn't get it because I have a shipment coming with my reinker, and I'm like, you know what? It's gonna be in. It's gonna be easy to find. I'm trying to think positive. When I get like 800 boxes, it's gonna be easy to find my reinkers. 
Oh, they're so cute. All right, let me put the little... Now, for these, these little dots are kind of hard to handle. They kind of pop all over the place. So we want to put, like, a little... These gray ones will be cute. But it's sometimes just... Even my putty is dried out. All right, sometimes, like I said, they're kind of hard to handle. See? I'm stuck on you. There we go. That's better. So you just put... Just put a few of these around. You can use the very vanilla ones. The very vanilla don't really match though, so I'm just using like the gray, the gray and the white ones just for little three three D. You don't have to put dots on there. This one would look cute on the vanilla ones would look cute on this one. The reason the vanilla ones would look cute on here is because it's white, and that way, you know, it contrasts. So and you could put them in the centers of your flowers, or something if you want. And I'm probably gonna get ink like all over this guy. Are you going to ever get off my finger here? Get off my finger. Here, let's put that right there. And we'll put one up there. Oops, come on. I'm using my neighbor's uh, outside picnic table to craft on. Hey, we have to make do until the she shed is ready. That's what we're doing. We're making do with what we have. And so nobody can make excuses. If I can craft in these conditions, so can you. Are you gonna ever get back on there? Where are you going? All right, I'm just getting. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a new one because it's just like it's like I feel like I'm trying to pick up grains of rice or something. All right, now let's show you. Yeah, tiny pom pom on his tail. Thank you. That would be a cute idea, Lala. Lala's crafts. Okay, I put my reinkers in a Tim Holtz alcohol tin, and I have three of them. You make you get three of each reinker. I mean, for each ink pad or one of each ink or three different colors. Orange bunny works good on the orange purse. Okay, I'm glad you like the orange bunny. It's kind of like a petal pink bunny, but it does look orange, doesn't it? It's like that's a petal pink. That's actually, wait, this one is the petal pink color, but it doesn't look like petal pink because that's more like the petal pink. See, my, my ink pad is faded on the front, but that's actually the color of petal pink. That's a petal pink bunny. Just so you know. Okay, Lisa Fisher, hello. All right, so let me show you what I made with the other style, okay? And then I'm just going to show you what I made in part one as well. So the other style I made, just so you see something else that'll fit in here, is I did the flowers and more. That's this set of paper. So because I had different color combinations, I used a piece, I made a nice blue striped bunny, and it looks cute because it's, it's, coordinating colors. So this balmy blue, you know, goes with all this stuff in here. Fresh freesia and the, and the, um, all this P polished pink, uh, crushed curry, right? It's another color combination. So completely different than these. And then this one's another whole kind of paper. Like this is another whole set of paper. So these three go together. Oh, these four, these four are all dandy designs. You see? So like, that's why I use the petal pink on those. And then this one is a completely different design. But just so you know that the tea bag fits in there exactly, and you have tea bags in your kit, and so do these little biscot, biscoffs, okay? They fit in there perfectly, so you can give someone a little treat, a little get well gift. Oh, I have a little tea and biscuit for you, or go to see a friend, let's have a cup of tea, right? It's just cute. It fits in there tight, but it fits, so it's just give you an idea. All right, now I wanted to show you the little sticky notes, because I thought that would be cute to show you how they fit in there. So last time in part one, we made the little sticky note holders. And here are the two we made like this style. And then I made one like this with the little high on it because I thought that would go cute with this little purse. Here, this little purse because it has the same style of high. So let's take out the little mini Ghirardelli. And you can see that the little bunny sticky note holder can go in there and stick out. So that is cute. So that's another option for your sticky note holders. Mini sticky note holders like this one will go. This one would look cute in this little purse. And then it would just be like sticking out. See, little bunny. So you give someone a little sticky note holder treat. And inside the sticky note holder, we stamped, right? You're a friend like no other. Most of you got Velcro, but I did run out of Velcro. But you get Velcro at the Dollar Tree, and you can use magnets or whatever you have in your craft room. All right, a couple more fun things we made during part one. So during part one, we, we talked about masking. 
And we covered up the little bunny. We made a mask so we could color in the grass. So that's something that we did in part one. So if you missed this masking technique, you all have masking paper in your kit. And I showed you how to use the masking paper, stamping up masking paper to stamp the grass on the background. All right, so those two cards we made, and I just, I just made them in balmy blue. But you can use pool party, whatever color of blue you have in your kit. Because not everybody got balmy blue. At the end, I started having to use pool party. But it doesn't matter because both coordinate. It'd be so cute. and Or Coastal Cabana, I should say. All right, I have a couple other bunny cards to end with here. They were from my swaps. Here we go. All right, bunny cards. These are not, so those were my, those were my crafts here. Well, except for this one was, this one was Kathy's craft. And this one was Kathy's craft. She made me these little bags. So, but then I, then Kathy also made this card. And she used Thanks a Bunch, which is a celebration stamp set. Kathy Schmidt made this one. And then Sharon made this one. And Sharon is a, is a team member of mine, and she made the blue bunnies with the little pink. I love that. And she made a designer series paper card with five panels where, see how I use four panels there. So this was one of my swap cards. So just to give you more inspiration, I'll kind of keep these out and show you these during my sessions. So I hope this inspires you to use your Easter bunny kit in different ways and that you can, how cute it is to use with the thanks a bunch in the celebration. You know, I hope you get some ideas there. All right, that's all for now. This is The Paper Chef. Have a great day.